Here we're selling three types of energy drinks. So we'll let H equal the number of high powers to sell. We'll let P equal the number of purple elephants to sell. And uh, we'll let uh, C equal the number of creatures to sell. Uh, so we want to maximize uh, profit. So our objective function would be um, objective equals, and we'd have 0.6 for every high power plus 0.76 for every purple elephant plus 0.99 for every uh, creature energy drink. So there's our objective function, and uh, we're subject to the following constraints. It can stock no more than 400 total cans. So the total number of cans must be less than or equal to 400. Typically at least twice as many purple elephants are sold as creatures. So the number of purple elephants is at least as big as twice the number of creatures. So if I double the number of creatures, um, the uh, purple elephants is greater than or equal to that. Um, so what I'll do is, so that I can get my inequality sign pointing the correct way, because of the constraints for uh, doing simplex method, I will actually write 2c less than or equal to p. So I can go ahead and flip that. That way uh, means the same thing, but when I subtract p from both sides to get my variables all aligned, I get 2c minus p less than or equal to 0, which matches the appropriate constraint. So I'll have that one, I'll have that one, and the company never sells more than 100 high powers. So that means the number of high powers is less than or equal to 100, since they don't ever sell more than. Sometimes they might sell equivalent to. And now I'll write out my constraints. So we're kind of getting the hang of writing constraints for these. So he'll be, here'll be my HPC. Since I have three equations and one objective function, I'll have a slack variable for each equation. So S1, S2, and S3 will be necessary. Then I'll also have the objective function. Um, so in this case, I'm, I'm, I have profit. And then I'll have my constants over here. So that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. And for the very first one here, I have one, one, one. I need the slack variable, zero, zero, zero. And my constant is 400. So the slack variable allows it to be equal. Um, next, I have 2c minus p. Um, so I have zero h's. I have negative 1p. I have two c's. Zero slack variable number two takes place so that it can equate exactly to zero. And h, no p's or c's. Get the slack variable number three so that I can equate it to 100. Uh, so equal to 100. And for my final, remember we have to subtract away get uh, the, because the uh, profit value, the uh, placeholder for the output needs to be positive, so I need to move these guys over so I get negative 0 0.6, negative 0 0.76, negative 0.99, zero for all the slack variables. The placeholder for the profit uh, always ends up equaling zero since we move these three terms over to the other side. So now if I enter this thing in, um, here's my initial simplex tableau. You can tell that looks precisely the same. And then my final tableau will look a little something like this. So, uh-oh, the high powers are not part of an active column, meaning that H automatically defaults to zero. P, for this, col uh, this column, this row, 267 uh, of the purple elephants should be stocked. And then for my creatures, well, that's an active column. So that means that... Uh, 133 creatures should be sold, and that will ensure that I get a profit maximize of $335.